Good afternoon, Year One, and welcome to another maths meeting. We're already on Tuesday, the 19th of January. January's flying away from us, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to look at today is our doubles. Now remember that when we're talking about doubles, we mean that there's two of something. So if we're looking at one, we're not talking about two ones. One and one, how many have I got? Two, fantastic. What about two then? Two and two. One, two, three, four. Double two is four. Fantastic. Well done. Moving on then. Three and three. Should we count them together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three add three or double three is six. Well done. Right, your turn. Write them down on your whiteboard. What's four add four or double four? And what's five add five? That's a nice easy one because it's one of your number bonds. Pause the video here if you want to, write it down on your whiteboard and let's see how you've got on. Let's show the answers then. So, four add four is eight and five add five is 10. We know that those are all even numbers. That means that they can be split equally in half. Well done for remembering your doubles year one. Let's move on. We're gonna have a go now at remembering how we count backwards from 100. So we're starting at that really big number 100 and we're gonna finish down the bottom there at 10. Are you ready to count with me? Let's get going. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. Well done, everybody. Those are all our numbers when we're counting back in 10, from 10 all the way to, um, from 100 all the way to 10. Have a good look at those numbers because there's gonna be some missing in just a moment. Which ones are missing? Can you write them down on your whiteboard? Pause the video if you need to. How did you get on? Which number, when we're counting in tens, goes in between 90 and 70? Well, which number comes between nine and seven? And then looking at the next one, which one comes between 40 and 20? How did you get on? You've got 80 and 30, well done. Okay, so here's all our numbers from 100 to 10. Well done if you remembered all of those. Okay, time to get your clocks out and have a go at practicing what time you can see here. These are all o'clock. So if you remember, that means that they're all completely on the hour. We haven't got any minutes past. All of these have got the minute hand pointing straight at the 12. So then we look at that shorter hand, that hour hand, to tell us which hour it is. So for our first one there, that short hand is pointing to the five, so it's five o'clock. Pause the video here and write down on your whiteboard, what are the other two clocks showing? How did you get on? Sometimes it's a bit hard to tell which is the shorter hand and which is the longer hand. But if you look carefully, the short hand never goes over the number. It always stops short of the number, so you can still see it. So if you look at that middle blue clock, you can see that the short hand is pointing to the nine. It's nine o'clock. And on that last clock, although it's a little bit hard to see which is the long hand and which is the short hand, can you see that the hand pointing to the eight doesn't actually go over the eight, so you can still read it. So it's nine o'clock and eight o'clock. So well done, year one. Okay, we've got a little bit more here in terms of our doubles. And sometimes we can see this as counting in two. It's actually called our two times table. So we're talking about groups of two. So one group of two, what's that? Two groups of two is four. What's three groups of two then? And then we've got the answer there for four groups of two is eight. So pause the video and have a go at just filling in those gaps, which numbers are missing. How did you get on year one? So this is our two times table. It starts with two, two, four, six, eight. And what would come next? 10, of course. Well done, everybody. It's our final slide. Yesterday, we looked at adding in our final slide. That's where numbers get bigger. You've got one thing and another thing. Adding them together makes it bigger. When we're subtracting, our numbers get smaller. That's because we're actually taking something away. So have a look at these questions. I'm gonna do the first one with you. So three, take away two. And on our number line, we always start at that first number. So I'm gonna start at three. But this time I'm going to move backwards. 
our numbers should be getting smaller. We are taking the numbers away. So how many jumps do I need to do? If I'm doing three, take away two. I need to do two jumps, don't I? I'm gonna start on three and I'm gonna do two jumps. One, two. What number have I landed on? It is one. Three, take away two is one. Have a go at the rest of those questions in black. And if you'd like to challenge yourself, have a go at the purple ones. You might not be able to use your number line here for all of them, but you do have a bigger number line in your bag if you would like to use that. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. How did you get on year one? Should we have a look at the answers together? So, three take away two is one, and two take away one is one. Six take away three is three, and that's a really interesting one because we've seen that one today already. There were two threes in that question because six is made up of one three and another three, two lots of three, that's six fingers. So I know that if I take away one of those, one of those hands, which was showing three, I'm gonna have three left. And 10 take away four, but you can use your number bonds to help you with that. If you've got 10 and you take away four, the answer is six, because six add four is 10. Well done, especially if you had to go at those trickier purple questions. 14 take away the four gives us 10 because 14 is four bigger than 10. Eight take away three is five, and you could have used your number one, uh, your number line there really carefully to help you. And 10 take away 10 is 10. Does that sound right? If I have 10 and I take 10 away, will I have 10 left? No, I think I've made a mistake there. The answer is zero. Well done if you got that right. Wow, you're working so hard in your maths meetings year one. If you've got some um, answers on your whiteboard, please take a picture and share them on Seesaw. Me and your other teachers would love to see them. Well done, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow for another mass meeting. Keep it up.